our list. Uh, mm -hmm. We are going to go ahead and rank the Xbox consoles. There's been four main consoles. We're going to rank them from our least favorite to the best. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do we just want to go? Do we want to go for like like we did this round robin? No, or do we just we'll want to all give all the whole thing. You guys sent me over your list and I used like a little point system to put it as like an overall. It's pretty close to our rankings anyway, so it's not going to be shit because we're pretty uh, consistent with our rankings here. So uh, so I'll just start off with uh, at number four. Overall, we had the Xbox one. Obviously, it's the weakest generation to everyone with four points. You guys both ranked a third uh, fourth. I actually ranked a third. Oh, okay so yeah. but uh so the xbox one generation uh, i'll just start with it so this is obviously the the one xbox fucked up the most it's the one that even though i am a staunch defender of the xbox one people know this about me i it was dumb that they launched it with the connect being forced to connect to it but i love the connect being able to walk into my house and say xbox on and have the xbox the dvr the tv everything turn on it goes straight to whatever and then you say like i don't know xbox go to titanfall and then it just switches over to it, it the camera sees your face it automatically signs you in if you enter the room it signs you in like it was i thought it was awesome i love that console it's just the games really weren't there for that gen uh even though quantum break is genuinely an amazing game and people slept on it because it was on rise a console. son of rome let's go rise Greatest son of rome game of all time. great yep i love that game just like i love order 1886 and hellblade they're short games but great stories and yeah rise is a great game uh and quantum sunset Break overdrive game. i didn't Ooh. play yeah sunset, it's on my back list awesome. but i know everyone loves it oh yeah oh, it's yeah. great great game yeah th so i it's just an underrated uh, it's, it's, you know, it deserves its criticisms. It was a pretty bad thing. They didn't do so hot that gen, but mm -hmm. I liked it for what it was. And then when the, when the one X came out, that thing was a beast. Yes, the one X at the time, that thing was a monster and it was a huge step up in that generation. Uh, and yeah, I, it's really, you know, if you go down to the games, yeah, it's probably the weakest generation, but that console, it did a lot of things that. Honestly, we're ahead of the time because people are like, I don't want this thing in my house listening to me. And everyone has a fucking home pod or whatever on their desk now. And it's like, so you don't mind Dude. that it's sitting there listening to you. OK, <laughs> so I, I just think it was a console that was ahead of its time. The, the little picture in picture thing that looked like crap where you had like the little oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. Like, but you can watch you the game. Though. Yeah, yeah you can watch, watch your watch game. And you're like. <laughs> <laughs> right. kind of looking up at like i can't see it it's taking up a third of my screen and i still can't see the screen so like that that stuff was and the and the ui was terrible because that's when they were trying yeah, yeah, to integrate yeah. it with windows yeah, at windows the time and, was horrible. yeah that was horrendous but overall i like the gen so i mean I put it at third overall instead of fourth. So, but you guys go off on how oh, it's the worst one, obviously. But <laughs> yeah, we ha we had it in fourth. Um, I'll just say, rest in peace, Xbox Lizard. Oh, scale wow. bound, wow. scale bound. We missed wow. you. Yeah, they canceled that. scale bound. I, I was excited. I mean, it didn't look very good to be honest with you, but I was hoping that they would pull it together and it would be good. Mm -hmm. But apparently, it sucked and it got the axe. So, <laughs> R.I.P. Xbox Lizard. Um, Xbox One was. The generation that ruined everything. So I have to put it at four for that reason because they <laughs> they fucked it up. They dropped the ball. Don Matrick energy um, you got out there. You you don't yeah, like you this don't, online. You, you don't, don't get like a this. damn three six. <laughs> oh Play the three sixty and quit crying, bitches. Be like, all right, well, we're just not gonna buy your console. So. <laughs> <sighs> that, what what is there to say, Cog? Yeah. Take it away. This it's a very unfortunate era. But but like to, but Hodge to, to his point, you know, there was some, you know, some moments. I wanted to shout out Titanfall debut on Xbox One. Dude. You know, I, I remember picking that bad boy up and was really blown away. And at one point it was exclusive, <laughs> you know, the, yeah. the first one and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, look, that we talked about Rise of the Rome. We talked, I still agree with Maddie that. I felt that their launch lineup was far superior to PS4 at the time. You know, I had the PS4 and I loved it, don't get me wrong, but it's kind of very indie centric and stuff like that. And I remember playing the Rises, the, um, what is it, the, uh, the Capcom Dead Rising 3, we had a Forza at launch, and yes, Hodge, I was also a Kinect fan. I was the guy doing the Kinect fitness and all the foolishness. Yeah. So, yeah, now, I, look. They butchered the generation. The messaging was absolutely horrible. It is we are not going to say that this thing was not the worst <laughs> of 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 all of the potential, the all of the potential it had. It could it should have been way bigger than what it was. And yes, people eventually did 
they were too ahead and they were too aggressive with being ahead and trying to force people into this vision. And that's what did them in. Ultimately, they ended up being proven right. But it's just the, the, the execution was just mishandled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So. All right, so that was the Xbox One. I don't have a whole, I echo a lot of what you guys said. It wasn't all bad. There was some good games. The hardware was okay, especially the the One X, very mm -hmm. powerful. Um, game Pass came out in this time, of course, so that yeah. was awesome. So there was some good stuff, but ultimately they just they fumbled so yeah. bad at that launch. Oh. Um, and then there was a couple of dry spells, um, and yeah, it just it was it was unfortunate. But it wasn't all bad, but it was the worst in my opinion. Um, but Hodge, what is what's going on for number three? So number three, you guys both had three. I had at number four. This is my least favorite. Is the original Xbox? It's it's not that this is it's not that this is a bad console by any means or anything. It's just that with me, I never owned the original Xbox. It, obviously. I think back to the land party days of going over to friends' houses and just everyone putting the TVs next to each other, playing Halo. That was the greatest thing you could do. That was because it came out in 2001. So I'm a little younger than you guys. I was 10 when it came out. So that was a sleepover game. Like you have all your buddies over, like we're all sleeping over playing Halo till five in the morning. Like that was the shit. But when I think about the overall console, like obviously it, it, it brought Xbox Live. It made it brought in achievements. It brought in uh, uh, Ethernet port to the system mm -hmm. and everything. Like it had, it was a great thing. It uh, but the PS2 obviously dominated at that that generation. But yeah. th it was a great console. It's just it's the one I have the least memories with, other than kind of the Halo Land parties. Like I said, I wasn't into a lot of the exclusive Xbox One or like Xbox original uh games and everything. so it's it was one i just don't have as much of a connection to and i thought the xbox one just it had a more excitement to me for some reason even though obviously it's it's it failed a lot worse than than this console did but yeah it's a great console it's just i like the xbox one just slightly better but yeah what do you guys think about the og yeah you're also younger than us uh Hodge, so that might be it too. I think. Yeah, well, that was back when I had the consoles that were given seasoned. Me. Seasoned old heads. Yeah, no, I, well, I got the consoles that were given. I didn't buy them back then, so I I, that's no, why it's... I didn't have an Xbox. <laughs> it makes sense what you say. I'm sorry, Ben. I could, I could cut you off. Continue. Oh no, you're fine. Um, yeah, so uh, just Xbox original. I'll just say, I, you know, it was a good console. They got slaughtered by PS2, of course, but they were in the building though. They showed up. They had the rock. If you smell, <laughs> he showed up. You know, he was marketing the Xbox, and it was great. Um, Xbox had some of the best games of all time. The original for me, uh, they had Knights of the Old Republic from Bioware. Such an amazing RPG, such an amazing Star Wars story. And then BlackRock followed it up with Knights of the Old Republic 2. These were both exclusives. Um, of course, they had Halo was dominant. Uh, did Gears come out for the original Xbox, the first Gears? I don't remember. That was 360? Yeah, 360. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, like the Xbox original, it had a limited amount of, uh, of bangers, but they were definitely there and they were impactful. Um, and really the only reason why I put the original Xbox over the Xbox One is because the original Xbox started it. It didn't kill it, so I'm just I'm just playing. But uh, Cog, yeah, hit a Xbox, hit us. Yeah, man, this is nostalgic for me. Obviously, you know, from New York, um, the city, the 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 console was born on my birthday, <laughs> November fifteenth. You know, um, they, they, Bill Gates, like you said, The Rock, they come to New York, they debut the system. Um, okay, I gotta at least find out what this Microsoft console is about, right? I came in very, you know, skeptical. Like, what is this? And um. For me, it was like you said, this is around the time PlayStation is completely dominating. But when I get it, I'm like, man, these games look better. They perform better on the Xbox console. And I'm a techie. So the first thing I saw was like, wow, they're doing this bandwidth with, with you know, broadband as a mandatory thing. Hard drive in the box. Wow, this is interesting. And as a guy who loves music, I was like, custom soundtracks was a thing. Like being able to say, okay, I don't want to listen to the game developer's music. I can burn my CD, rip tracks, and play whatever I want to the games I'm playing. And it was the debut of Xbox Live because Xbox Live also, I was an alpha tester. And I thought that was amazing. I'm playing Ghost Recon, talking to someone in Australia, and I'm just like, what is going on? This is the future of gaming. Like, Couch Co-op, we love that. But this was it. And to the franchises, you know, it really hit home. You know, obviously Ninja Gaiden, you know, uh, the original Splinter Cell. Uh, so many games that I was just like, wow, this has so it was short lived, 
but it was such a quality console for as short as it existed and i was just like man i want more of this i, I like where they're going so yeah and, and last thing is as a sega kid you know seeing the shen moves and stuff like I, this was the spiritual successor to sega for me i didn't have a home i was a refugee my dreamcast died i was it was over for me i didn't have any and i see sega games on this platform with the controller and i'm like yo this is kind of dreamcast energy so yeah, yeah, yeah that that definitely started my love for for, my, for xbox for sure yeah, oh, yeah, and Halo, of course. I mean, ten TVs yeah. and the, the, yeah. the king and everybody. I got everybody from my block bringing TVs and Ethernet cables and learning how to, you know, do this thing just to play multiplayer matches on Blood Gulch and hang them high and to the two three in the morning. I got the whole oh, yeah. project, the whole block playing with me. My mom was like, "Why is fifteen kids in this play <laughs> <laughs> playing to two in the morning and going to get food and?" Those are the days. Oh, man. Halo is nothing that ever is going to replicate that feeling to me. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For classic. Sure. Classic. All right. So that was the original Xbox. Yeah. And then we started it all. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, we're uh, we're pretty much on on the same page with these last two. But so the next up is the Xbox series series Xbox series gen Xbox X. Yep. One series. S, whatever, <laughs> the, the, whatever weird naming conventions they have now, but the series generation. Um, yeah, this one, I, I was honestly debating because it's like this is kind of Xbox's comeback and this is where they're finally having more shit come out after that Xbox one generation. But honestly, things it's things that we don't even think about anymore that we just take for granted. Quick resume is an amazing thing other than i wish you could have it set to online games always shut off because they just get back like you're disconnected from the server i'm like i know (laughs) like just reset the game for me i don't need to do this but like stuff like that and just how quick it is it's just such a quick beast the only thing that i really don't like about the series x is the blu-ray player sucks like Mm. but that's that's kind of always been the case with xboxes so i kind of feel like i should probably buy my own blu-ray player but other than that, it's it's such a beast. It's so powerful. Honestly, it's a slick looking system. I love the slab. I think the PS5 is ugly as sin, but the Series X, that is a that just the monolith it just looks good. Yeah. Oh, you got the Duke sticker on there too. The Duke yeah. logo. Oh, that's clean, Hell brother. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. My man been nice. Salute. Yeah, love I just that. think it dude. I remember rocket launcher on the top. I remember when the oh, Series yeah, X was the... There you go. <laughs> when the Series X was announced, it was during that uh, the the Game Awards, and I yes. wasn't even watching. And someone just goes, "Dude, they just announced the next Xbox." I'm like, wait, what? And so I turned it on and was watching. I was like, "Oh my god, this looks awesome!" And yeah, I mean, it, it sucks that this, that the Microsoft is kind of in their situation they're in now, where it's like they're having to port everything over to other systems to sell, and which is fine. It's good business, but um yeah it's just this console is a monster and i really enjoy playing it i enjoy my time with it it's quick like i said and quick resume is a is an awesome thing and yeah i just it's a it's a sweet console yeah yeah yes sir kaga what's your series thoughts yeah series man this is we're living it right so it's like it's it's hard to to gauge but at the same Mm -hmm. time i have to be fair in the sense that like Outside of, you know, one or two uneven years, I would say as far as software output, I actually did a spreadsheet and I don't have time to do it right now to go through everything. But, you know, of each year of the series console's existence and what I found surprising was the amount of games I've been playing on this damn console. So it's funny to me when people try to tell me they have no games. I'm like, oh, not according to my spreadsheet. And these are and these are games that just are resonant to me. Right. That that. I'm I'm leaving out other things that people would consider super popular and how is that not on your list? And it came down to not only first party, but the key with the series console is this is now the evolution of Game Pass. Xbox One started it, but now you're seeing these quality titles now enter the service, AAA, indie, you name it, and they can't miss titles. So what happens is, in my opinion, when they a title jumps in the Game Pass, it essentially is an Xbox exclusive for me. Because what happens is I say to myself, oh, I'm not paying $70 to play Outriders over there. I'm not paying $70 to play whatever this third party did date over there. And like, bro, it, it's truly amazing. So yeah, like, and, and now the way the gen is continuing from starting from last year with, you know, with 2023, uh, sorry for the noise, sorry for the noise. <laughs> That's not my stomach. <laughs> That's construction. But, um, but since the 2023 and, and Starfield and Forza and all that other stuff, you know, now you're starting to see the consistent 
cadence of first party games and obviously with this year avowed and indiana jones and all these games and call of duty and diablo and starfield shattered space and stalker and Fly like it's it's becoming overwhelming you see the avalanche so that's what i am saying right now as far as if they continue this trajectory they're gonna they're gonna be on their way so they've got the number mm -hmm. two spot for sure apologies yeah. on the sound <laughs> <laughs> absolutely yeah so the series for me i i absolutely agree it was my number two as well um and i love this console um i don't always agree with some of the choices that they've been making lately but i gotta say that this console right here is a beast this thing is so dude it is sleek it is sexy it is powerful it is absolutely silent you cannot hear a whisper you can get right next to it put your ear right next to it you won't hear anything um, the PS5 is pretty quiet too, but you hear the fans on the PS5 sometimes. You don't hear a damn thing on the series. And this thing is just a magical machine for all the backwards compatibility. Like I Good said, point. I'm playing I'm playing Assassin's Creed Unity right now. We talked about that earlier. And I'm playing that in 60 frames and it looks beautiful and it's so smooth. Um, and, you know, I'm playing all these old games from the 360 and the Xbox One era on there. Even our Xbox originals. I played Jade Empire. Oh, wow. on my series last year that game was from 2006 or something uh again shout out bioware um <laughs> and it's just awesome dude it's just so good it's a great piece of hardware a great piece of tech powerful uh game pass is is always dropping bangers we talked about this earlier too many games to even play they're just constantly feeding us um it's just great. I love the controller, the Xbox controller. I showed off my my Dual Sense Edge earlier, which is a good controller, but mm -hmm. the Xbox controller for me will always be king. I love the offset sticks yeah, for FPS I, especially. For sure. I have the Elite Series 2 controller back in the, in the room, um and that is just an awesome controller. Um so they got everything going on this. Um the games are there, the games are lining up. We saw the showcase. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. It is a great, powerful fun console that you can just play thousands of games xbox has no games that's a <laughs> lie uh you got four generations of awesome games that you can play on this powerful console and just have a great time um, if they never released another game for the rest of, of your life you could play on the series with all the games that are available on there from four generations and you would be good to go for the rest of your life yeah um so shout out to the series really good yeah well um, said i just wanted to add on to your point the also the synergy between being able to play and have your data go with you when you're going back and forth between consoles or pc and anything that oh, yeah. to me is the future of gaming like when hard is talking about he's on his ally and i download a native game pass game and my save data is there and i'm going i'm continuing starfield as if i was at home on my series as a series x that's the future of gaming so they've got that synergy they, they still got some kinks to work out on on play anywhere but at least those theories of play anywhere quick resume all these features that are now we're taking for granted are there and to, good point on the back of past stuff that's huge yeah i didn't even th i yeah that completely slipped my mind because w especially with the series s like that was such a smart move it sucks that you know people are kind of oh, it's holding games back i'm like i don't know how true that is but the the fact that i can s have that as my i just like you i have the x screen have that thing on the go if you want or Ooh. the uh just the fact that if i want that in my bedroom and like you know console out in the living room or whatever i can just if i want to go lay in bed i can switch over to the series s and it's just and it was such a smart point for them that it's not going to outsell the ps5 no one's going to think it's going to outsell the ps5 but they can sell this 300 hundred dollar console as everyone uses it as their secondary console and they can just play game pass games on it it's it's almost kind of like a little apple tv if you want to use that or a amazon yeah. stick or whatever like that's kind of what it is and it's used in that way and it, it was a really smart move to have that cheap skew for people to come in if use it as their game pass machine or whatever like obviously the series x is my favorite because it's way more powerful but having that series yeah. s is just that kind of that secondary for people is a oh, really yeah. smart idea mm -hmm. yeah it's awesome it's gonna be really hard to top the series but there was one console that topped it um yeah i need to announce it all right but yeah it's the 360 it it's no doubt it was the unanimous number one it's my favorite console of all time the xbox 360 this thing was an absolute 
just it dominated my uh, teams. Like I, I it, w- it was the first console I bought with my own money. I was let's see, that was 2007. I bought it, so I was 16. I was just working at Hobby Lobby, and I just saved up all my money to buy one. And it was just hilarious because at when I bought it, I was still because I had the PS2. So obviously, I was torn. Like, do I want to move on with the PS3? Or do I want to go switch over to the Xbox? Because this 360 seems pretty cool. And my brother goes, hey. Because uh, I was like, I want to do PS3. It's got Blu-ray. And my brother goes, hey, oh, man. 360's got HD DVD. It's, even, it's just as good. HD <laughs> DVD. <laughs> uh, don't bring don't, that up. <laughs> don't, don't slander HD DVD. I was a fan. Okay? I was a fan. Uh, I still got mine. I still got I loved it. Hey, the, 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 it I, was the, better in many it ways. It was superior. <laughs> hey, the, mar- the maroon box looks cooler than the blue box. It was cool. Yeah, yeah, shout out to the maroon box. Shout yeah. out to Toshiba. Yeah. HD yeah. DVD. But, so uh, yeah, so I, but I ended up going 360 because I had friends who had the 360 already. And then at launch, well, I bought it obviously a couple years later, but in 07, I bought it. First games I bought were Call of Duty 4 and Halo 3. I go home, I play the Bioshock demo, and I buy Bioshock the next week. Like, that's a way to start a generation. But the 360, it had, that was the the era of rock band and guitar hero with those things. That was when um, online multiplayer really took off. So playing Call of Duty, I, play, I remember playing Zombies and World at War until 2 a.m. Just, oh my God. I, th- it, that is just, I, obviously it's nostalgia talking, but as well as that console just dominated. I mean, people, certain uh, Moriarty's might say that the PS3 sold better, but that's because I knew people who bought the PS3 because it was a Blu-ray player. That's literally the only yeah. reason they bought it. And the 360, it absolutely dominated. Everyone I knew had a 360. If you had a PS3, you were basically the Android kid of get away with us with your green <laughs> bubbles. Like it was basically that it kind of like mentality it. thing. I mean, I had a PS3 too. Don't get me wrong. Great, great system. But the 360 is just, I there's nothing like it. That's that console it just dominated. It was so good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No. I- I'm sorry, let me jump in. Are you good? Uh, let me, not, yeah, let me, let me, let me go ahead and get my bars off get your on bars this. And off. Then, go ahead. And then you, we're going to let you get the final word, Kyle, because no, no, no. you're the special guest. You're going to let you bring it home. So let me, uh, let me, so the 360 was amazing. Um, I love that console. It was my number one, obviously. It's our number one. Um, just a fantastic piece of tech. Um, it had the hard drive. Um, on the top and you could customize it. I had the elite, the black one with the 20 gig, yeah. the big 20 gig hard drive, massive back then. Yeah. Um, and it was just so good, dude. They had so many great games. It was vastly superior to the PS3 because it had party chat. It had voice messages. It had achievements. It had live. It had much faster network data speeds. It didn't go down for a month and a half due to being hacked. <laughs> um, it had the better controller. The Xbox 360 <laughs> controller was the best controller ever made in my opinion until the elite maybe um but it's just yeah. it's so good playing halo 3 call of duty modern warfare playing gears of war 2 with with the homies playing ncaa football 2009 um playing nba 2k uh, 12 or whatever with jordan on the cover playing crew mode with my brother and my friend daniel dude it was just great times non-stop dude and oh my god i really miss the voice messages especially yeah. when you were playing nba and uh playing nba 2k crew mode after you beat somebody and then you send them that super toxic voice message just talking <laughs> shit They're like man y'all suck i told you you guys fucking suck run it back we'll get you again like just send them a voice message He's dude it those, was, I see. It, oh i was i was toxic man i was toxic i was a shit talking toxic gamer but uh it was great, man. I, I'll keep it short. I, everybody loves the 360. It was it, PS3 outsold it at the end, but everybody, if you were there, 360 was the zeitgeist. 360 was the winner in in most people's actual eyes. Three uh, PS3 did turn up at the end, 2012, 2013. They had The Last of Us. They had some bangers come out. They did. They turned it around a bit for sure. But 360 was the zeitgeist. It was the console, and it was by far well. Not by far, because the series is awesome. But by a bit, it was the best Xbox. And I'm going to go ahead and pass the ball to Lord Cognito. You are our guest, sir. Bring us home. Tell us about the 360. Shout out to the legendary Peter Moore. He was the perfect fan at the at the right time. You know, just 
just the cockiness that you know the, the, the hey we're here you know we're we, we we are the place for video games you know halo obviously we know we know but we got to give gears its credit for setting up a new generation of gamers and getting them introduced showing graphical fidelity on that console you know the thing also the rise of bethesda during that period you know the oblivions right you know mm-hmm. Skyrim, like that kind of stuff and actually running better and not running well on PlayStation was a huge detractor for some people as well. And, you know, the mass effects, it, it, if you look at the 360s early history of what they had from launch for the first two years, it's literally the who's who in gaming that that we look at now. Right. And it's just amazing titles. So, yeah. And also it was kind of like the era of the dude, bro. Right. We had the shooters. Yeah. The, it was the Call of Duty box. It was the Halo box. It was the sports guys box. Like whatever you you know, we consider casual now. It started because of that. And then also the 360 ushered in kind of the media area. Like, hey, you could use Netflix on this. Yep. You can do all these things. It's more than just a console. I want to shout out also for the indie scene, the rise of Xbox Live Arcade and getting things like a State of Decay 1 and, you know, all these really cool, you know, very creative style games. Another shout out I want to give is 1 versus 100. <laughs> like this little <laughs> game show game. You tune in every week and you can win. And they were just such in such a creative space in such a good pocket they had the power obviously we, can, we can't we, we'd be remiss not to talk about the red ring of death it was part of the history but you love the system so much you didn't care people went to go buy another one you could not have your 360 down in the house without getting you know getting uh, another console to replace it mm-hmm. but uh yeah man it was such good memory it's peak 360 peak the the blades with the ui the um and then also xbox live really take it to that i'm glad you mentioned party chat because that to me was the differentiator being able to play different games have all your friends what is it 10 people whatever it was in a party chat and it was great and also shout out to the games like call of duty which sometimes they force wanted you to take it off and you get to talk to your talk after the, after that <laughs> search and destroy match of what you did to yeah it, you you had to be built stir the stuff back in to deal with what you was dealing with and for my freaks out there um i don't know about that that xbox camera i don't know if y'all remember that 360 (laughs) that uno was wild y'all xbox uno after dark boy you don't know what's gonna show up on that camera shout out to the 360 ushering in an era of perverts <laughs> the craziness that was going on, man. Hodge, you know, <laughs> it was wild back then, man. It was a crazy time. Oh my god, I forgot <laughs> about that shit, man. Bro, I that never, I never had the camera. Oh my god, bro, it was wild. Oh I remember even Rainbow Six Vegas. You could use it for custom creation on certain characters and stuff like that. They try to get creative with camera. Obviously, mm. Xbox One took it to the correct level. Yeah. Connect. Oh no, actually, 360 had. Connect. The first, the first connect. It was that the was first actually one. popular. Mm-hmm. That actually made them get a little too gassed up to include it for the next gen. But yeah. 360 Connect was a popular device. It was a, po- a popular add-on. So yeah, they had everything moving and shaking. They they and anyone who knows and lived that era of video games understood that 360 was the zeitgeist. They oh, were nice. the brand. There was no dispute. And you can say sales that PlayStation caught up, caught up, and that that is true towards the end. But during the majority of that generation, 360 was looked at as de facto console to play your games on. Well, the, the PS3 was also, PlayStation has always been the more worldwide one. I'm pretty sure it outsold it like, crazy in the united states i'm pretty sure the 360 dominated in united states oh, yeah. sales it became a end. global thing yeah correct yeah, yeah. for playstation Cause it, right. yeah because obviously three xbox has never sold well in like japan that's it's all playstation over there so yeah i remember they showed stats it was like in a in a month an X, xbox sold like ten thousand or something yeah. in japan it's like jesus no, yeah, like, that's terrible but in yeah. their defense they had some amazing jrpgs for 360 you know the, the blue dragons blue and Dragon, i mean yeah. also odysseys and all that stuff man really good stuff yeah yeah for sure like lost odyssey was from the final fantasy creators and musicians and it's dark and gritty and that's actually on my backlog too i got to get to it but everybody loves that people say that's the real final fantasy 15 people Ooh. say that <laughs> um, but yeah it, i'm glad you brought up like the party chat and the netflix because i don't if you remember you could join a party and then you could watch a movie with your boys and you were in like a little theater oh yeah you could see like you could see your little avatar down there watching the movie and you would all be it was all synced up so you're watching the exact same moment at the same time that was cool and yeah man it was just 
it was just a special time, man. The 360 was just so good. Um, mm-hmm. It didn't even care. You got the red ring of death. You you was getting another one. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I know people who had like four red rings of death and they still went out and bought another one. That's right. how good it was. It was right. like crack. People was hooked on the 360 and you had to be yes. there. Yeah. Absolutely. 